Hi, I'm Tracy Vickay with Hot Metro Finds, and I'm here at Innovative Medicine with Dr. Rhonda Susley and Scott Susley, about to walk in for my first appointment. Hey, good morning. Rhonda Sousley. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Is this your first acupuncture treatment? Yeah, yeah. I've heard a lot of good things about it and I thought this would be a good place to solve some of my problems with stress and um, lack of good quality sleep. Oh good. Well, can we come to the right place. So come on in. We're going to go right in this first room here. So you said stress has been an issue for you. Mm -hmm. um, what's going on? Are you sleeping okay? I um, I sleep okay, but I am not going into a real deep, good quality sleep, and um, I rarely enter the dream state. So I um, I just started taking some supplements, and um, that helped. I had a I had. A, Pretty good night's sleep last night, but I think there's a lot of room for improvement. Okay. You're, are you like two hours at a time, two or three hours at a time, or don't you really know? I, I sleep through the full night. I, mm -hmm. I, I'm pretty sure about that. It's just, you know, my sleep only goes so far. <laughs> so it's a poor quality of sleep. You wake not really rested and mm -hmm. real tense and, and not relaxed. Okay. I've been sleeping in more and, um, and I, I've been holding some tension too, a little bit. Neck and shoulders. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any headaches? Mm -mm. Good. And how would you say your energy level is? Lower than usual. <laughs> I think the vitamins and supplements are helping. Mm -hmm. I just started. But um, yeah, that was going on. And then there was something else I wanted to mention too. Oh, some anxiety. I've been going through. And is that more recent or is that more of a lifelong issue? Yeah, kind of a lifelong thing. I've had some discussions with my mom that um, I think she's taught me some bad patterns there. Okay. <laughs> Anxiety and panic attacks and um, we, we hold that in our respiratory system and we will, um, wait, um, what do you call it, hyperventilate. Okay. And so I'll get a lot of tension here, and I've, I've learned to control it over the past few years, but it just seems like the stress moves somewhere else, like, you know, into my body, like the muscles. Yeah, stress okay. is pretty smart. It'll, yeah. it'll yeah. move around on you, yeah, mm -hmm. affect different areas, organs, tissues, okay. Yeah, but through improved lifestyle and practicing yoga, I've noticed a lot of improvements, but still there's some core stuff going on that creeps in every now and again. Mm -hmm. Well, good for you, though. You're doing the right things. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, you're exercising? Not as much as I'd like, but okay. yeah. That's all right. You look pretty healthy. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, like we talked about before, symptoms, uh, you know. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. Well, let me tell you a little bit about acupuncture then. Mm -hmm. The Chinese believe that there's an energy that flows through the body called qi. The best way I can describe it is that it's similar to water in nature. There's water in oceans and rivers and clouds and rain. It's everywhere. Just like there's qi all over the body. It's in the cells and muscles and tissues and bones. Mm -hmm. And just like um, water, it flows in specific pathways, like rivers or streams. Mm -hmm. And those are called the meridians. Okay. You might have seen the charts of so the lines that go all over the body. Mm -hmm. These pathways are entirely different than nerve pathways, blood vessels, lymph. It's a whole separate network through the body. Okay. And along these rivers or streams, there are places where the energy will tend to whirlpool or collect. Mm -hmm. And those are the points like, that are used to adjust the flow. Okay. 
So if for some reason the flow has become blocked, you can imagine a log that falls in the river is going to cause the water to dam up. It will create some kind of pain, problem, or imbalance. And then further downstream, the fish and the trees aren't getting the water they need either. Mm -hmm. So it can cause problems someplace else as well. It can refer pain, numbness, tingling, something like that. Mm -hmm. So all we're doing is opening up the flow of energy to help your body to heal itself. So what it really does is it stimulates the body's own healing mechanisms. And I like to do my little diagram here. <clears throat> if this is a flow of energy and for some reason it's not going through here properly, it can be from trauma, injury, illness, overuse, diet, emotions, genetics, stress, toxins, any combination of things. Mm -hmm. And I have people who say, I have all those things. <laughs> But what I do is um, I'll put in a few needles, let you relax for about 20 minutes, and during that time, the chi or the energy will start to travel to the needle. Hmm. It works like a conductor to draw. Hmm. When I take it out, it should continue to flow across there. Now, usually people feel really relaxed, they feel really good for three or four days, and then it's going to tend to break again because the body just isn't used to that pathway. So the symptoms may tend to creep up a little bit. And that's why we usually recommend it's best to come in maybe once a week for three weeks to really get a good strong um, flow of chi going. But you can just try it today and see what you think and just kind of go from there. Hmm. And you don't look too nervous, but we'll show no. you what a needle and looks like. Yeah. Here. Okay. Um, this is a typical acupuncture needle. Um, we use a lot of different sizes. Um, they're single use, they're never reused, they're disposed of. Now, because I've touched this, it's not necessarily sterile, but to, to show you, it's so ultra-fine. They, they initially almost fit through the pores of the skin, okay? Mm -hmm. They're inserted, inserted into these little tubes, and basically, it's the tube that you feel, mm. and then it's gently tapped, oh. and that's it, okay? And you'll retain those, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and then we remove them, mm -hmm. dispose of them, and and go on with the next part of your treatment, but that's basically it. So um, we can actually get 21 of these in a standard size orifice of a blood draw needle. That's how mm. micro small those are. So, and that's basically it. So you'll get probably 22 to 24, depending on uh, what what we think you need, and mm -hmm. and from there. So. Okay. Now, as part of any treatment, I always take your pulse. Mm -hmm. For the pulse rate, like Western medicine, but more importantly, I'm looking at the quality of the pulse. And this is part of the Chinese system. Um, some pulses are kind of soft and rolling, others are real spiky. It just gives me an indication of what's going on in the body. And then I also look at the tongue. Mm -hmm. And if a tongue is very pale, for instance, a person is more weak and deficient, like an anemia, if it's really red, it means the energy is trapped someplace, creating heat. If there's a thick coating, it tells me the body's not digesting the foods properly. It just helps me to know where to place the needles to balance things out for you. Hmm. So I'm just going to go ahead and get your pulse real quick. That's okay. Good. You can just stick your tongue out for me. <laughs> I get the lock. Okay, looks good. It's a good thing I haven't had candy today. <laughs> I know, I see green and orange and purple. Please tell me you've had a lifesaver. It's not always that way. Okay. All right, what I'm going to have you do is uh, remove your socks, please. And as long as I can get up to your knees.